Hey everybody, welcome in. It is the Doug Russell Television Show right here on SportsRadio1250.com. The big sports story nationally, of course, is that of Lane Kiffin leaving Tennessee to go back to USC where he was the offensive coordinator for a couple of years during uh, a couple of USC's national championship runs. couple of things about Lane Kiffin. Uh, there are a lot of national pundits that are panning this move for USC, saying that it's a terrible move and Lane Kiffin never did anything. Look, Lane Kiffin did a couple of things. Number one, he survived working for that old kook, Al Davis. And if you can survive working for him and live to tell the tale, you probably got something going on. Because he also got hired at Tennessee, which has a, a history of being one of the elite programs in college football. They won a national championship in recent memory, the first BCS national championship, as a matter of fact. But let's examine this for a second. If you're Lane Kiffin and his lovely wife Layla and their perfect family, where would you rather be? L.A. or Knoxville? Say you lived in Los Angeles and you looked outside your living room window, this is the view that you might have. Say if you remained at Tennessee and you looked out your living room window, this is the view that you might have there. But what kind of home would you have if you lived in Tennessee to begin with? If you're standing on your front lawn, this is what you're probably looking at. Meanwhile, in Los Angeles, this is the kind of home that you might have. Now, say what you want about Lane Kiffin leaving uh, Tennessee to go back to Southern California. Uh, you're staying at your house, the houses that we just saw. If you're in Los Angeles and you're the USC head coach, you might want to hang out with your neighbors. Now, of course, you want to hang out with your neighbors as well, even if you're at Tennessee, but this is who you're probably hanging out with. And also, who's your number one fan at USC? And who's your number one fan at Tennessee? I think it speaks for itself. But in all seriousness, and I don't need any angry uh, emails or letters uh, from the folks down there in Tennessee just poking a little fun at you, but Here's where it is. There is no loyalty in collegiate athletics anymore. So everybody at Tennessee who thinks that this couldn't happen to our program, get over it. It happens everywhere. Take, for example, the Brian Kelly situation. He didn't even coach his team in the bowl game before he left to go to Notre Dame. He coached the Cincinnati Bearcats for three years, made the same promises that Lane Kiffin promised the Tennessee recruits, did the exact same groundwork that Lane Kiffin did, albeit in three years as opposed to 14 months. To me, there is absolutely no difference in the loyalty or lack thereof of Brian Kelly leaving after three years for Cincinnati to go to Notre Dame, for Pete Carroll to leave USC after nine years, uh, take, taking the money and run, and going to Seattle, or Lane Kiffin leaving after one year. Promises were broken, lies were told. That's the way that it goes in college sports, and every team feels burned. Remember when Tom Crean left Marquette to go to Indiana? His players felt burned. That's just the landscape. Until somebody does something about it, it'll never change, and I don't see it changing unless the NCAA steps in, and they're probably not going to. So for everyone at Tennessee, get over it. That's just the way that it is. I think USC's getting a good, not great head coach, but he's assembling a great staff. They're going to have a couple of down years. As a USC fan, it pains me, but I know what the reality is. They've got NCAA sanctions stemming from the Reggie Bush scandal from a couple of years ago that are probably coming down the pike in maybe five to six months. It's going to hurt the program, but it's now Lane Kiffin's problem to deal with. But think of it this way. At least Lane Kiffin was there when it went down in the first place. Whether or not he had any knowledge of it or not is, at this point, notwithstanding, but at least there's not going to be a coach that had absolutely nothing to do with it in any way, shape, or form that's going to be at the head of the Trojans program. That'll do it for this edition of the Doug, and, uh, the Doug Russell Television Show, the Doug and Mike Radio Show, tomorrow morning at 5 o'clock right here online at sportsradio1250.com or just catch us on the radio on AM 1250 WSSP.